Good afternoon, or good evening rather, <laughs> welcome to the very, very well publicized program titled Road to Edo 2024. My name is Egosa Agbonlao. Today's program, as usual, promises to enlighten the Edo people and of course to enlighten the viewer as regards one of the off-circle elections that will be taking place in this country. Particularly, we're looking at the Edo 2024. It's an off-circle election. And INEC has already outlined guidelines for the conduct of that election, time for campaigns, time for primaries, a reminder of the uh, termination date of the present government in Edo State. And that has heightened political activities because it's well spelled out. Everybody is aware of the termination date. There will be no vacuum. Election need to be conducted. And we'll be having a new governor <laughs> next after the election uh, next year. Okay, um, Edo 2024 is a program designed by your daily station to create the platform for aspirants to actually publicly, once again, declare their intentions. I know that at um, various uh, events, some of these aspirants from the different political parties have declared their intention to be governor. But on this program, it's another opportunity to declare publicly their intention to the voters in Edo and, of course, to you, the viewer out there. So once again, good evening. Welcome. Our guest, our very first guest on the program is a man you would like to meet. He's a man that has earned accolades. And he will be here to defend both the positive comments and the negative comments. And that surely will make the program interesting. So our guest of the program is John Yakubu, a former chairman of ASA Northeast Local Government. Chairman between the year 2007 and 2010. One term completed successfully. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, Welcome to this uh, wonderful program. Uh, thank you for bringing me in here. Uh, and also have to greet the viewers okay. and our electorate. Thank you for, okay. having, for having me. Another thing you need to know about John Yakubu is that he also boasts of political experience apart from being a local government chairman. In year 2016, he was a running mate to a governorship candidate of the PDP. And in that election, John Yakubu and his governorship candidate then contested against Mr. Godwin Obaseki of the APC. And Mr. Godwin Obaseki won. But today, Godwin Obaseki is now in PDP and Joe Yakubu is still in PDP. So, this is a wonderful story. You have never left PDP. So what's the reason for that? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, we actually beat PDP, and by the grace of God, that have been about 25 years, 24 years now, because uh, the, the PDP was actually rooted in 1998, when the when the when the political other political parties came aboard, I've been there, I've, I've served there where the fetchers and the hewers of the wood that beat PDP. I've remained there, and by the grace of God, I really don't think uh, it is um, there is need for me to begin to move to any other political party uh, because uh, we, we 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 PDP was beat on a, a basic ideology on how 
to make sure that the, the, the people are placed first before any other thing. So whatever we're doing as a party, whatever I have done as an individual, like you did mention when I was uh, chairman of the local government, I did it under the People Democratic Party. So I'm there, I remain there, and I believe that by the grace of God, come uh, February 2024, members of this great political party, the uh, People Democratic Party, will find me worthy to be so nominated to, flag, to fly the flag of our great party. Okay. As a follow-up to that, uh, we've seen a situation, or we've seen situations where politicians who are aspiring, they defect from one political party and win elections in a different political party. Is it that you are not popular and so you are scared <laughs> of leaving the PDP for another political party because you feel that you are one of the founders of PDP and because you are not popular enough to you know, achieve a political goal in another party, probably that's why you, you decide to remain. Is that no, correct? No, no that, that, that is far from, that's far from it. Uh, don't, don't, don't forget, it's, it's, I am, I'm, I'm not talking about 2024 mainly because of my party, because I'll be flying the flag of my party. We're talking about 2024 because of the people of Edo State. I had an election in PDP in 2207, and I won that election. And by the grace of God, we did delete you, or I did delete you, I could, for the people of East and Northeast local government. On the basis of that, I was renominated in 2013. If you remember vividly, mm. that election was conducted. Three times that election was conducted. And by the third time, when the people of East and Northeast local government were there voting and believing that, yes, uh, John Nehivato and Yakubu will still be the next chairman, that result was announced somewhere else outside the uh, East and Northeast local government. Yes, I'm not scared about whether... Uh, I will win the election in another party. No, this is my party. And I believe that we have enough to tell Edo people, because in my slogan, Edo of our dream is possible. So I'm in PDP, believing that what we have, the foundation that has been laid by the People Democratic Party, all we need to do is that after the 2024 off-season election, we need to maybe increase, continue to increase on those foundations to the benefit of our people. So it is not about me, it's self-interest going to another party to begin to look for ticket to contest for the same position. No, it is about the people and about how the people of Edo State can gain satisfaction from politicians like us. Okay. PDP, from the information that we have, you have yeah. some uh, rancor, some eternal crisis within the PDP. Uh, to the extent we hear things like legacy members and new PDP and all of that. What's your role in all of this? Well, I, I, for any, any political party, whether PDP, APC, or Labour, there are bound to be friction. Take for Labour, for example, only recently the issue of the national chairman was resolved at the Supreme Court level. So what we have in PDP is not beyond the, the power of members and leaders of the, PD, or the party to resolve. I strongly believe that whatever you have, whatever you're saying, or whatever may have been happening right now in PDP will definitely be resolved before we go into the next election. So we have, it is an in-house thing. Within the party, I strongly believe that we can resolve whatever differences we have today before the main election. 2024. So which side of the PDP do you belong to? Well, I, I really don't uh, um, have a divided PDP. For me, John uh, Hiratioma Yakubu, I'm a member of the People Democratic Party. I have, within the period, tried to look for a way out of the present situation you are trying to paint. So, yes, I'm there You can on both sides. That is the truth. Try to find a common ground because I strongly believe that together we can will be triumphant in the next governorship election in Edo State. So I am not I am not a sectional person within the political party within our uh, political party, the PDP. I am a member of the PDP. I don't think you are PDP one and PDP two unless you want to define that here to the people of Edo State. I really don't think we have. PDP 1 and PDP 2. Whatever it takes is eternal. Like I said at the beginning, it will be sure, we'll surely resolve that. Whatever is happening in the PDP, 
uh, it's not of my concern, yes. but it's in the public domain. It's in the public glare. Yes. So uh, you just admitted that um, whichever part. No, no, what, so what, there's what, a way you put it, which yes. means you, you accept the fact yes. that you do not have one PDP as you speak today. No, we have. We have but you belong to both sides. No, we, we have one. So don't you think those will mar your chances? Because there are those people, the viewer, they are watching. Yes. Yes. They, yeah, so we, don't you think this will mar your chances? I'm optimistic, I, I, but don't you think this will mar your chances? I, I, I think it is not within uh, the four walls of this program for me to begin to reel out on how we strongly believe that issues within our party could be resolved. And like I said, I am I'm sure that whatever you think is happening within the PDP, I cited an example of labor just now that had these issues resolved at the Supreme Court level. Ours have not even gone to any any court of any uh, uh, any court, whether here in the do state or outside the do state, which means is still, I really don't want to use the word family affair, which is, uh, which is uh, a language commonly used within the political party. Whatever we are, you've painted that we are experiencing in my political party, I want to repeat that surely, before the commencement of the off-season election, such issues would have been resolved. OK. I just told you I'm optimistic. I am also optimistic that we will resolve such issues. OK, John Yakubu, you have your supporters, you have those who always uh, applaud you because of their belief and uh, especially looking at what you did during your tenure. But 13 years after leaving office as a local government chairman, you want to tell the people what you are looking for again that has uh, inspired you to aspire for the office of governor of Edo State. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm happy that you said 13 years after. Mm. 13 years after, if you still go to my local government today, it's not notice local government. All we did are still visible, available for you to see. So whatever I'm saying here, or whatever I'll be telling Edo people, I will also always tell them to go and verify. So. What we have built, let me tell you this. Whatever I did as the local government chairman, I didn't do it because I was coming to, to use it to campaign in 2023. 13 years after, I did it because that was the right thing to do at, at the time I was elected to govern as the local government chairman. And at that time, I could count my finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have shorted eight rows with drains on both sides. I didn't do that because I was coming to use them to campaign in 2023. No, because that was what I was elected to do. So why I am coming up to begin to ask Edo people? Because outside the capacity to lead Edo to the next level, like I said, Edo of our dream is possible, which I strongly believe that we have the capacity to do, is the we power. The we power to put Edo people first, like I did when I was the local government chairman. As chairman of the council for two years and 10 months, it was my people, my people, my people. If I wake up in the morning, it was all about Eastern Notice local government. In the afternoon, it's all about Eastern Notice local government. By the time I go to bed in the evening, all about Eastern Notice local government. And two years after, we recorded all that we recorded to the admiration of the people. And today, if you go back to my local government, there are these projects that we did, which you still can verify. Like I did mention just now, we have 774 local government in Nigeria. I am sure I am the only chairman who beat a police barrack because of my concern for the security of our people. I beat a police barrack. I'm not telling you I renovated. I beat a police barrack and donated it to the Nigeria police. It's there for you to verify. At the time I was elected as council chairman, they have burnt down the, uh, the, the police station in Urumi. 
I got there within the space of six months. The police station, a modern police station, was built and donated to the to, to the Nigeria Police Force. So what we did, or what I did, because when I say we, because I was actually not alone, I had my counselors and supervisory counselor. What we did for two years and ten months. Sometimes I sit down to begin to ask myself, if in two years and ten months we have eight roads, they are there in Uromi for you to verify. Thirteen years after, not half have been added. I'm not saying not half a kilometer have been added to 13. If in 13 years, after John Ewato and Yakubu exit as the local government chairman, for 13 years, what we have is one, one road for 13 years, I'm sure that 13 years after, we would have had about 13 roads in this and not this local government, and I can assure you, all the township roads in the town would have been asphalted by now. But I, I tell you this, I did that because I was not elected to do otherwise. I was elected to provide health care. I was elected to provide infrastructure in terms of electricity. My dear brother, if you go to Rumin, you can go and verify. We had close to more than 10 transformers bought and installed by that administration. Anytime I sit down to look back now, I ask myself, did we actually do those things in two years and 10 months? Which means for every month I was asphalting a road, building a school, constructing a police station, and making sure the health center is, uh, is, 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 is made functional. Within that period, I didn't have a second chance. I did that because, who knows? When I was doing that, a lot of persons would have said, oh, do the little you can. Now, when you are elected, the next time you, you complete it. No, I completed all the projects I started. And by the time I, I left as local government chairman, I could sit down here now and begin to get myself and say, yes, I am proud of having been given the opportunity to by my people to lead them for two years and ten months. These is, things are verifiable. You can go back to the council and check and say, look, Yakubu is on television. He's telling the world that he beat a council quarter. Because before I was elected, the council was on a rented, rented quarter. And they were paying people. And I said, look, how do you do this? Pay hundreds of millions for rented apartments when the council can sit down and beat his own quarters? Within that space of two years and ten months, a council quarters of about five, six, seven houses was beat. We beat it and we fenced it, including the police, uh, the DPO's mm. quarter. Yes. Why did I do that? I felt that a DPO could be posted to Rumi, and or getting to Rumi, he would probably be looking for accommodation. I said, no, we have to leave a particular quarter here for an incoming DPO, so that by the time he comes, he should be talking about the life and property of our people rather than looking for accommodation. Mm. So what we did, what I did as chairman in Asa Notice local government, you can verify that. Okay. And go back to my local council. They will mm. tell you. Okay. These are the things Yakubu did. The, the barrack is there. A modern barrack. Yeah, we, it's we, there for we, you to see. Yeah, I, I must interject here. Yeah. Um, at the local government level, you are very proud of what you did yes. with your team. Yes. And um, in 2016, you were deputy governor. Uh, you were a running mate. Yes, to Pastor to, uh, the PDP governorship, governorship candidate. candidate. Yeah. Now, don't you think if you had won, yes. probably would have garnered more experience to be a governor? Because whatever you did now is just a, a tiny fraction of a state. You're talking about a do state. Yes. And where you administered yes. is just one local government yes. out of a team. Yes. And now you want to be governor of an entire state without that. That experience, because if you had won in 2016, you would have gotten the experience and probably watch your principal and all of that. So do you think you have the experience, you have the capacity to be a governor? F first of all, what is a state? Mm. What is a do state? You just mentioned a local government. If out of 18, mm. one performed, what do, you, what do you have as a state? 18 local government put together. Is that not what you have as a state? That is what you call a state. If in 2010, for 12 months, or sorry, for two years and 10 months, by the grace of God, we did what we did. If every other local council chairman at that time replicated what John Ewato Mayakubu did in this and this local government, I am sure that uh, those states would have been developed, a develop, more developed than how we left it. The peculiarity well, is in this and not this other local government. Let me tell governments. you, bringing yeah. you to 2016, hmm. honestly speaking, I would have been the catalyst in that administration. I wouldn't have been the changing agent. I would have been the catalyst in that administration if we were given the opportunity to rule Edo State. And I tell you this, I have lived in Edo State for over, I've been here. Okay. 
I was born in a, a, a Do Central Senatorial District. I school in a Do North Senatorial District. And I have lived in a Do South Senatorial District for over 40 years. This is where I do my business, trading. This is where I live. So I am quite aware of where we are, where we are coming from, and where we need to go to. And that is why I said in my slogan that the door of our dream is possible. I do not need a memo to begin to talk of people in, in, uh, in Ubogyobo or the Gwetwe. I don't need any memo from any commissioner to know that we need to begin to talk of how to tackle the problem faced by this person. How do you mean? This, I am, I am, I am used to Edo State. I have been part of the state. I know what they are passing through. I don't need a memo to tell you that going from Awuchi to Afuze need to be fixed. I don't need the memo to tell you that going from Eho to OK need to be fixed. Because this is where I have been. I have been part and parcel of this state for over 50 years. And what could be more? Given the experience that I Ghana while being the local government chairman, and as a private trader, I don't want to use the word businessman, mm. I've transversed the entire state, looking at ways and means that we can improve on the lot of these people. Let me tell you, by the grace of God, we have some persons in our, in our employment taking care of, making sure that we're able to do those little things that we do. But given the opportunity to lead those state, I tell, you, I tell you this, the impact will be so great because of my knowledge of the state. Let me give you an example. Starting from Igbo Bahi. Today, on a Monday, go to Igbo Bahi and stand there and see the problem that, that, that will be generated on Igbo Bahi River. And what is the problem? How do you allow a tiny Igbo Bahi River to begin to receive the six lane coming into two? And that is why our people are suffering. Every day, try to go to work from Igbo Bahi. And what do you need to do? Do I need a memo to tell you that you need to expand, expand the Kuba River Bridge, whether it's a federal government road or not? Do I need that? Do I need a memo to tell you that outside the present ring road that we we'll have in Edo, South Senatorial District, that we need an outer ring road, partly completed by Chief Tony and any of blessed memory? Do I need a memo to tell you that we need to open out the space in, 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 in Benin City on the left and on the right flank? taking into consideration the bridge behind the University of Benin. All we need, which I think I have in abundance, is the willpower. And by the grace of God, selecting a team made up of good people from Edo State who will deliver to Edo people. Thank you, John Yakubu. Uh, you see how uh, the primary election to go through yeah. in your party? Yeah. Um, because uh, you are just aspiring. Yeah. But you just mentioned something, which I believe is of interest to the people. Um, going to Urumi from Benin is nearly impossible. Yeah. And this is a federal road. So don't you think the state government should have really, really relied on the federal government to fix the road or do the otherwise? Let me tell you these tricks without my same ways. First of all, the time, the time has come for the federal government to see those things away to the states. I saw the federal minister of uh, uh, works coming all the way from Abuja to begin to inspect Ulubu. And after inspection, what happened? We should first of all, that is one aspect. Because all the roads that we have across this federation, all are all in different 36 states, including Abuja allow a sizable number of this road, sit them to the state, and allow them to have the money budgeted for this road to so repair those roads. That's number one. But let me tell you, I will not sit down here and allow, as, a, as a sitting governor and allow our people to survive the way they did. I'll first of all make the road passable. There are several ways of making the road passable without actually going to do the major job of repairing it. Some of these places, places that we now can pass through, Last week here on Friday, I traveled to Portacourt and uh, Olobo is now passable. And that you could do without necessarily waiting for the federal government to come. Make the place passable for our people. As, the sit, as a sitting governor, I will not watch our people suffer. I am not an engineer, but I can tell you, I was not, I'm not an engineer. I was not one when I asphalted it road as local government chairman. It's a record-breaking uh, 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 item when I was chairman. And I, I, I am also 
not unaware of the fact that these roads can be made, made uh, possible without necessarily going to construct it to, 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 the, to full. Because at the end of the day, our concern, my concern, you just mentioned just now, if I'm going to Romina, it takes me about three, four, five hours, a distance of less than an hour to go to Romina. And I tell you this, it is because of the way the road is built. And you can dewater it. I, I spoke to an engineer about two days ago, and he used the word for me. You can dewater those places for a vehicle to pass. I think that's the simplest way for me to talk about making the road passable Your for party, people to... Your party, the PDP, yes. is a government. Yes. So, no, if the governor have not done that, if the governor have not done that, it probably, because of the situation we found ourselves in this nation, I can tell you that for free. If he's not doing it, it's not because he's not feeling the pain of the people, it's probably because of the way we place it, places, the way things have gone to in Nigeria. I remember you have it on television here. A contractor was hired by the government to make the supply road possible. You remember what happened? You can play it to adult people to see. What happened? They came and chased them away. Who chased them away? The, you, the, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the federal government contract, I'm not saying this because I am campaigning to be the governor, or sorry, I'm aspiring to be the governor. I'm saying this because it's a statement of fact. You have it in your, it was shown on television, you have it, you can again repeat it to the people. Okay. So, you were here when the former governor was the governor of the state. If Bobahi that is possible today, you remember what happened? If you were here when Adam Shumule was the governor, you remember because if Bobahi was not possible, what did he do? He went and put a signpost there and said, please bear with me, this is federal. John Yakubu, I want to thank you for your time. Yeah. I want to thank you. Yeah. Uh, you've just made your points. And I believe the viewer, the voters, the people, they've listened to you, they've watched you, they've seen your gesticulations. <laughs> they've seen your enthusiasm. And it is for the people to decide. We hope to have you again because uh, we can't exhaust everything in just one day. And hopefully we'll be having other aspirants who also come. Because so many people are jostling to occupy... The, to take over from Mr. Godwin Obaseki. They believe that they have the capacity, just like John Yakubu has uh, been able to show his enthusiasm. So this is the program for you to display what you have in stock, what you think can convince your party to nominate you to be a candidate. So, Road to Edo 2024 continues. But we must thank John Yakubu, our very first uh, aspirant on the program. Thank you very much thank for your you. time. Thank, thank you, viewers. My name is Ego Sagmala. I do have a wonderful, wonderful... Okay. Um, on behalf of the entire team, because we are a team, some persons are working behind the scene. On behalf of the entire team, thanks for being a part. Do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.